Hi, this is Keith from Blur.bz with another DIY project. This time not about gear, but about a studio. So I'm setting up a studio. It's a, it's a reasonable space, but it's a little bit small. Um, and I really don't know how I'm going to use it until I actually use it. Um, because of the size, I want to keep tripods off the floor as much as I can. So I was really, these things really appeal to me. Uh, wall or ceiling mounted. Now the Manfrotto version is $220 or something, which I just can't do. This was 45. Uh, this is about a four foot extension. I know there's a newer, newer, I don't know how to say it. Um, it extends a little bit more for about the same price. And on the way, I'm hoping it has the same, uh, same mount. Uh, I, there's a seven foot extended one for $139. So when I was looking at this, I thought, I don't know where I want this to go. The extension isn't that long. Do I want to have, if this is my subject, do I want to have them going back with the light or do I want to have them deeper in the room coming forward? So I decided let's just make it so that I can have it wherever I want. That is solid. So what I did was I created a docking plate for that. So I can create these for the cost of, I don't know, a few dollars. Um, and put them wherever I want and then move this around super easily. So let me show you how I built that. So it's the first thing is I got a lag screw. If you look at this photo, that hole is, um, that's the hole, the mounting hole in the bracket as it is. So I got lag screws where the, that little bit, see there's a bit with no thread. So that's just about the right size for the lag screw. Now this is called a step drill. Um, it's, it's a really easy way to take a hole and turn it into a bigger hole. And you're really gonna need a step drill if you wanna do this. And what I had to do was for that bolt, I took the hole, the mounting hole that you saw in the previous photo out one more step, just slightly bigger. Then I drilled another hole below it with a drill bit in that photo. So the smaller hole is the hole I just drilled and use the step drill to drill it out bigger and then a uh, jigsaw or file would do it too to turn that into this shape of tab. So this is the kind of tab you often see like on the back of something that's going to mount, like the back of every power strip. You have, you have the hole, small hole that is actually going to be the mount and then the bigger hole which is big enough to take the screw head. So that larger hole is big enough to take the, um, the head of that lag bolt. And then took a piece of wood. Cherry is like iron. Cherry is a really strong wood. Um, so I took a piece of cherry. This is um, about eight inches wide and about 14 high. Really only needs to be about 12, but this is a little bit, this version is, is oversized. Um, here's where having tools is kind of important, but I'll show you a, a way that you could do it without this tool. This is a router table. And what I did was I routed out of that wood, a channel that the, uh, that the base of this boom arm just slides in, um, then drilled a couple of holes, put in the lag bolts and tested it. So um now they as you see protrude out the back so what i did was at the end i mounted i backed those out mounted this to the wall then then put those back in again so if they actually got through drywall to wood um they're helping with the solidity of the mount although i don't i don't think they will get that far here um the the plate itself here is mounted with six uh, two and a half inch or three inch screws in the stud. So it's not going anywhere. So at that point, we have two lag bolts in the channel, perfectly aligned so that when the mount slips down, 
that it just slips down onto those bars and is held by the head with the channel. Uh, and then I added a strip of aluminum, aluminum across the bottom. That's one and a half inch aluminum. Aluminum is great because you can sand it. So it's easier to work with than steel. Drilled four holes mounted so that height wise, when you, when you put the mount on there, it's above the height of the, the aluminum. Then as it goes down, it just locks in position. Um, and that's really it. Now, if you don't have a router, still perfectly possible to build this. The only thing you would do differently is instead of routing this groove, you'd have your flat bit of wood and you'd put raised. You put a strip of wood above the other wood to create that channel. Then you'd go down as far as this lip. No, you wouldn't. You just, uh, hmm. I don't know if you if you put a strip just exactly the right depth for the for the mount then you could mount that on top of it as well but cutting a strip that fine might be hard you know what you could do I'll tell you what you could do you could get a bit of wood you could get this stuff mount one down the edge one down the other edge to create an edge and then mount the other one across the top of it. That's what you can do. Don't use wood, use, use that. I might actually try that out too. So not hard to build. Um, first one took me about an hour to 90 minutes. I think I'm gonna spray it black. I kinda hate the way that looks. I didn't finish the wood very well. Um, that's it. Um, if you like DIY and photography, then please like, subscribe. Make me feel like it's worthwhile doing these videos. Uh, and that's it. Thanks very much. See you next time.